Okay guys, so we just found this couple. We think that they just got engaged. We're totally stalking them. Ashley loves doing this. Okay, literally look how cute and so bougie with the photographer. Okay, hello. guys I just wanted to come on here and do a little quick update um, and just yeah say a little bit of stuff so the vlog footage that you just saw was me and Molly we just went out into the city on a few adventures for Christmas we got some hot cocoa and we just talked and it was really sweet we looked at the Christmas lights and so that was super fun and um, I got back to school and I went to the library, you saw that footage. I'll show you guys the books that I got from the library. I am like a hardcore library person. I love libraries so much. And I got these books to check out for over break so I can have some good books to um, kind of read over break. So I'll do a little bit of a library haul. Let me hold these up for you guys. So this is the library hall. And ooh, within this library hall, I got a few books that I'm super excited about. So this first one is called Women in the Mission of the Church. I'll have all these books linked in the description as well. Um, if you want to go check it out and have something to read over Christmas break. So, Women in the Mission of the Church. I'm so excited about this book. Looks like an amazing read. The next book I got is Embodied, which I've been wanting to read for some time. And um, the back says, but the truth is we don't have bodies. We are bodies and God created us that way for a reason. So just talking about kind of the theology of bodies. So I'm really excited about this. This next book I got is called Art Therapy in the Treatment of Addiction and Trauma. So it's talking about art therapy. And I specifically picked this out because there's a section on art therapy with eating disorders. And if you guys know anything about me and Taylor's story, we've both walked through eating disorders before and still struggle at times with eating disorder tendencies. So I thought it'd be really good to study about art. I love doing art. You guys know that about me as well. So I'm excited about that book. Another book that goes along with art and something that I've been thinking a lot about recently is arts. It's called Arts Ministry, Nurturing the Creative Life of God's People. So just creativity in, in ministry and art and ministry that really intrigues me a lot. Um, part of me really is longing for an art degree, like an art, um, going to art school, but I'm just now finishing my bachelor's degree. So I'm like not wanting to do more school, but I would have loved to go to school of art. Um, but, and I'm trying to just nurture that on my own at this point and just read sources and learn more and stuff like that. And then the last book I got is Christian Meditations compiled by Hannah Ward and Jennifer Wild. And so it looks like this, it's pretty thick. I'm really excited, but they're just like short little expert excerpts. And it says over 500 meditations, classic and contemporary. So I'm just like really excited about this to just read it during my quiet time to have a little, like I said, they're kind of short, so it's just kind of nice. Um, so yeah, that's the haul of books I got from the library. So me and Molly just went out, then we went to the library. And yeah, now I'm going to probably go to bed because I'm exhausted. It's finals week right now and I need to finish up all my finals and actually tomorrow I officially move out of college and this is what I wanted to update you guys on because you're probably wondering like I thought she already moved out of college like I watched vlogs of her moving out of college and technically I moved out a lot of my stuff that day I moved out most of it but I still had after Thanksgiving I still had one more week of being in school 
And so I just kept the bare necessities in my room, like just the things I absolutely need. And tomorrow I am officially moving everything out. So I'm leaving the dorm life, I'm leaving campus life, and I'm gonna go home and then I'll be home and I'll finish my finals at home online. And um, then the semester will be over, praise God made it through another semester. If any of you guys have been through college, you know, maybe know that it is not easy. A lot of you guys ask about Bible school, if it's easy, like what's it actually like. It's real college. It's hard. We have hard teachers um, that honestly hold us to high academic standards, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, so I'll be officially, officially moving out tomorrow. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys an update. Tomorrow I will try to vlog a little bit and show you what it looks like to just move everything out. And yeah, I'm gonna go to bed for now. Sorry this vlog's weird. I started it at the end of the day and then I'm gonna be closing it tomorrow, but it's okay. It's okay, there's no rules here. We're just doing what we're doing. So yeah, good night. Good morning guys. So this morning I slept in. I'm exhausted. I'm kind of ready for school to be done so I can just go home and rest. It's that point where it's the end of the semester and I'm just tired. I could use a few days of just doing nothing. Um, but I'm going to finish strong with my school. Um, this morning, I have a room check at 9 a.m. So that's just when the RA comes in, she checks the room. I have to make sure everything is moved out and clean. And then tonight, I will officially be moving out at around five-ish. So that's what I'm doing right now. That will be better just cleaning and getting absolutely everything out of this room. I made a cup of coffee. It's amazing. Shout out to Bold3 Coffee, I'm drinking them right now. I'll leave them linked in the description. So good. So yeah, I'm just clearing everything out of my room. for the next person. I am going to be staying on campus for the rest of the day to get homework done. So I'm gonna to go to the campus coffee shop and um, there is a quiet study room over there. So I'm going to just go and do my quiet time over there and then also just start to do more finals work and studying. Um, I wanted to give you guys just an honest update. Um, of where I'm at today because one thing I know that you guys love about our channel is that me and Taylor are both just very raw and real. We just show you our life the way it is and there's really nothing about us that's like, I wanna say like, mm, like special. But I say that in the sense of like, we're just normal, two normal girls living life and um, we just want you to know that 
honestly, our hope is in Jesus and not in this world. And so, um, we don't want to even be like the world. We don't want to be conformed to the pattern of this world. And so, yeah, there's nothing really special about us in the sense of worldliness or hopefully we're just trying to strive to be more like Christ, honestly. I don't know if any of that made sense, but um, what I was going to give you guys a little update on was that this, this morning was just very off and I think a lot of my insecurities just really rose to the surface big time. Um, just by little things that happened in my day this morning, like it really just like showed where my heart is at, especially with just like putting my worth and my value in something that is other than Christ. And um, I don't know, this morning I just really felt like I knew like I haven't been putting my worth and my value in Christ and rather I've been putting it in the high standards I set for myself and of what others might think of me and um, of what I think the ideal perfect life looks like and how I just don't live up to those standards and um, I was talking to Taylor about it because I was just feeling really insecure and really unworthy and she told me she's like ash you need to turn to scripture she's like you need to turn to christ like he needs to be your first one and i was like you're right and so this is the verse that i've been focusing on she encouraged me to just focus on a verse and it's this verse right here oh, i wish you could see that a little better but i'll read it to you guys it says behold i long for your precepts and your righteousness give me life and specifically the second part of that verse, and this is Psalm 11940, it says, in your righteousness, give me life. And so I've just been meditating on it because really true life is found in Christ's righteousness. It's only in Christ that we are whole, that we do have worth, that we do have value. And it's only then that we can um, be sure and filled with assurance and hope and peace that we do have worth and value in Christ and really when we put our worth and our value and our hope in anything other than Christ we will let be let down and we will go through what I'm going through this morning a sense of doubt and insecurity and all those things so my meditation this morning is in your righteousness give me life and even though I keep saying this over and over again, I don't feel it. I don't feel like in his righteousness I have life, but I'm still going to say it over and over and over again because it's the truth. And sometimes we don't we don't feel truth. We can't. We feel our emotions that are on a roller coaster ride. But it's still important to stick to truth even when we are going through those emotional highs and lows. So that's a little word for you guys today. I hope that encouraged you. And I'm just gonna keep moving on with my day. I'm not gonna let this get me down. I'm just gonna keep going. We all have mornings and days like this, but it's okay. So, yeah. <laughs>